Hi everybody, welcome back to the Drunken Bull Ranch, I'm Reed. So, uh, in a previous video I showed my I showed you cutting some hay in the pasture, more or less cutting weeds, but anyway, so I'm going to have to roll that hay uh, to get enough together that it'll actually make a bale, but I thought since I was doing that, I might as well have a little fun. So, let me show you this. This is an old hay rake. Now, it's a, uh, I'm not even sure who the manufacturer is. I can see that that's who sold it. Uh, I'm going to say that it's got some, uh, what I would call probably significant issues. Just looking at it. Uh, first of which is, that drive shaft's not connected to anything, which uh, could be a problem. Anyway, so I'm gonna say it's been sitting here since I bought the property. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just know that it came with the property. Um, I'm gonna have a little fun and see if I can make it work. Uh, the tires are pretty well shot, but figure for an experiment just to see if it'll work. Why not? Anyway, uh, I honestly know nothing about them, other than it's a hay rake, and it's ground driven. I know that. Uh, I've got it hooked up to a draw bar right there on the tractor, and uh, I'll pick it up and get the jack out of the way. And then I think I'm gonna pull it around to the shed and grease a few things and see if I can get that drive line connected. I'm kind of curious if it works. So, yeah, we're going to give it a whirl. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll see what I come up with. Okay, everybody, so I brought the uh, hay rake around by the shed so that I could work on it. And upon initial inspection, I found out this out. So when I rotate it, that gearbox is turning. Now, I'm going to say that it is rubbing right there that this one right there is rubbing so it makes me think that this is maybe bent a little bit I don't know uh, like I said never used one of these never ran one of them so I'm kind of learning as I go um, yeah you can kind of hear it there the other thing that I noticed right off the bat is uh, I was gonna grease it and I realized that I think that hole, let's see if I can get on it, right there, so this one right here is for a grease cert. It seems to be missing. Uh, and honestly, I think the part of this thing might be in the shed, so let me go and take a look. Okay everybody, so I was right. I did have the swivel in the shed. Here you go. So, uh, the swivel was left in the shed by the previous owner. I don't know why I hung on to it, but I did. And I went to the magical box, box of bolts and found some bolts that had fit. Uh, I'm gonna say that the bearing in that tire is shot. I just had to take it apart to get the bolts in. But, I think we gotta try it out and see if it works. We'll see if it turns itself. Anyway. Hang on, just a minute. Okay, everybody, so I pulled up a couple of feet and it spun. Let's see what it's gonna do. I'll feel me over my shoulder here. Sorry, brakes on. There we go. Okay, let's see what it's gonna do. Up. Well, it backs up. Huh. Okay. 
something ain't right. <laughs> Okay. Well, the axle spins backwards, but it doesn't spin forwards. Huh. Okay, I will do a little more investigation. Okay, so upon closer look, this tire is rubbing on that side, and this tire doesn't seem to want to... Yeah. Huh. Okay, we got something going on with the axle. So, give me just a minute to open this up and see what's going on. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to say, upon closer review, if you look right here, there's a gap here, and this is wearing into here, which makes me believe that that bearing is a bigger issue than I thought it was. Um, at least for the purposes of testing this guy. And I also noticed when I pulled on this bar that it came out of the spot where it was welded. Sorry, I got my finger in there, but it came out of the spot where it was welded, which makes me think that that guy, meaning this, is probably bent just a little bit. Because that's a little skewampus. Anyway, that could prove to be a difficult problem. But let me get it apart and we'll take a closer look. Okay, everyone, I got this apart. And I'm going to say that this goes back to my old saying of uh, grease is cheap and parts are expensive. So let me show you this. Okay, so the axle goes all the way through to the other set of tires. But if you look at this, you can see where it has worn into the axle. If you look in there, which I don't even know if you can see it. Hang on. I don't know. Well, maybe you can. But those bearings are completely gone. That, uh, or at least the sleeve that it rotates on. And I'm going to tell you that there is a grease cert on this side of the tire that I am fairly confident never got greased. Maybe you can see it a little better now. There we go. Yeah, those things are completely worn out. That's the inside tire. This is the outside tire. So, basically what I believe is happening is that the axle is binding and causing it not to turn. You can see where it has worn into here. Uh, I guess the debate is, is it worth fixing? Which may be more of a debate than I know. Um, I'm gonna continue tearing this apart and see what I can figure out. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something different to lift it up. As, like I said, this bar, the weld is broken and I'm using the axle to hold it up right now. So, yeah, I might have to do something different, and I'm wondering if the bearing on that side is the same as this side. So, oh, I guess the uh, question of the day is, is it cost effective to fix it? Let me know what y'all think. Comment. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with this whole thing. Like I said, I uh, think I'll do some searching on the uh, wonderful web and uh, see what I can find for parts, see what the cost is, and if it's worth it. Talk to you later. Oh, support your local farmers. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.